All right. Here's the deal, everyone. Okay? Here is the fucking deal. So, in Japan, there's Dragon Ball Super, correct? Correct? Yes? Okay. We don't know shit about this black Goku guy that just showed up in Dragon Ball Universe 2, but if we put him in Universe 2, them pre-orders, though, can you... Up top! Up top! Yes, I expect that promotion, John. You're goddamn right, John. You go so big, up on me on my trays. I'm looking afraid. That's why when I kill you, I'm looking away. What is up? People of all different types of ages, races, genders, and yes, even you other species out there there watching this video my name is Omega Pro and I'm here to talk about black Goku in Xenoverse 2 so for those of you guys that don't know he has been confirmed to be a pre-order bonus for Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 however unlike the dickening we got with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta no anger just find your happy place find your happy pl he will be available to purchase later on as a separate dlc i don't know how much it's gonna be i don't know when it's gonna be but he will be available to purchase later so if you do miss out on the pre-order then you're pretty much safe but the main thing that i wanted to talk about is like exactly how he'll work in Xenoverse 2 like because at the time that they announced him we knew nothing of Black Goku we just knew that he was a thing is Black Goku gonna have his Super Saiyan Bros transformation is he gonna have his little saucer move that he used to um I won't say because that's fucking spoiler territory what exactly is he gonna be doing up in this hair line because it would really suck to see them give him like generic ass moves because we simply don't know much about him and the game is right around the corner and even still if they're up to date with the anime like let's say they're sitting there they have fucking dragon ball super on their 72 inch screen they're watching it every week they're like holy shit all right code that in you, you saw that little smile he did we'll make that a move even if they're like that on time trying to coach it in as they see it it takes a lot more work than just seeing something and putting it into the game to actually get Get it to work and function properly so i'm low-key kind of worried about how black goku is gonna work in this game they say he's gonna be a pre-order bonus i wonder if they're gonna do any sort of story around black goku as well or if he's just gonna be just a bonus character like super saiyan 4 uh, vegeta was i'm assuming that's what they're gonna do because let's face it what story can they really tell with black goku all i'm saying is i'm expecting black goku to be on some motherfucking strength like, i want when i choose black goku i want the other person in the lobby to fall Fucking quit. I want them to be like, Mommy, look, this is the game you just bought me. Okay, I'm gonna choose my favorite character. <laughs> okay, I choose Broly. And then I'm sitting there on the other side of the screen. I'm sweating, right? I got my fucking, I got my huge bag of nacho cheese Doritos. I got my fucking six gallons of Mountain Dew right here. Fucking straight up sweating, breaking out in all sorts of pimples. And I'm like, <laughs> he has no chance at beating me. <laughs> I want to choose Black Goku. I'm gonna fuck him in the asshole. And then the kid's sitting there on the other side of the screen. <gasps> Why'd you buy me this shit, man? This is fucking gay. I want Black Goku to be the equivalent of Fox in Melee. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want. Like, when I choose Black Goku, I want to be able to feel like heroin in my veins, you know what I'm saying? I want I want my right arm to get more buff than when I'm home alone for a week straight. Put two and two together. I ain't got to spell it out for you. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Nah, but in all seriousness, I think it's really, really cool that they're trying to be up to date with the Dragon Ball Super anime. And they're trying to put things in that were just recently shown in the anime. And trying to make it so that way, any character we want to use... You know, we can use them. Obviously, it's going to be very difficult for them to touch things like Budokai Tenkaichi, where they had like goddamn every character in the universe. The one person that was in the stands at the martial arts world tournament that one time I said, yo, Goku, you looking kind of thick, low key. They put that nigga in the game. You know, they're not going to be able to do stuff like that. However, I think what they're going for is really, really interesting, especially I wonder how this is going to fare for like the kind of casual-ish Dragon Ball fans that don't really know about Super or they don't really watch it because it's not available anywhere here in America to legally watch it. So we're all fucking criminals for watching Dragon Ball Super. Come arrest me, FBI. Loki, I'm kidding. I'm not Jared Fogel. I would not thrive in prison. I'm telling you right now. You see this face, bro? I go to prison. There's a dick in my ass by hour two. Guaranteed. I forgot what I was saying.
Oh yeah, I got it. Like, let's say you used to watch Dragon Ball Z when you were uh, when you were a kid or some shit, right? You're a grown adult now. You paying bills. You got kids and shit. You sitting there like, God damn, I should never fucked this bitch, but it was good though. So you're like, Yo, new Dragon Ball Z game. I used to love Dragon Ball Z. Let me cop this real quick for the one time. You come home, you pop that shit in your disc, like, yeah, man. Yeah, this is just like I used to remember. I could create my own character. Yo, this is dope is in the mug, bruh. Sit <sighs> sitting there creating your damn saying or whatever, and then you get into the game, you see this black Goku guy, you're like, what I miss? But for us hardcore fans, it's a really cool nod and I think it's gonna make a lot of people happy to see him. A lot of people are gonna be upset that he is a pre-order bonus, but I think the fact that they're making him readily available sometime after launch to purchase separately is pretty cool. It's yet to be determined how long that'll be. So they could give us the ripe dickening, you know, I'm the fuck is this they could give us the ripe dickening and say yeah it's sometime after launch a week before xenoverse 3 drops you fucking bitch but if bandai namco has any honor they won't do that and i don't think they'll do that i think it'll be readily available maybe a month or two after release so by that time you're probably already running up all your created characters and stuff doing all your parallel quests and then you know black goku comes out and he adds some more dlc bonuses for everybody out there and i can't wait like oh my god for those of you guys that don't know, man, Black Goku and Zamasu, especially Zamasu, I am Zamasu. They are some of my favorite characters in Dragon Ball Z, man. Like, straight up, these dudes came out of nowhere and they're stealing my heart, my soul, my, my everything. I love these characters to death. They're so well written and so, oh God. I haven't been this afraid of like a Dragon Ball Z enemy in all of Super. Not a single person in Super has made me feel that shred not even one tenth of the fear i feel when looking at goku black and zamasu i see them dudes and i'm just like that is a bad time i don't want anything to do with these guys not only will they fuck me they'll probably fuck my bitch directly after that that was me talking about black goku and xenoverse 2 for i don't know how long what do you guys think about black goku and xenoverse 2 are you excited for him what do you think about the fact that he is a pre-order bonus let me know in the comment section below of course ladies and gentlemen my name is omega pro i would like to thank you all for watching i'ma catch you on the flippity floppitis don't mind me i put out the blade and i'm digging your grave it's hard to say hey it's your family ain't seen you in days you couldn't be phased i'm way too amazing i'm stuck in my waist you go so big i bought me on my trays i'm looking afraid that's why when i kill you i'm looking away don't care what it is that you trying to say revenge service today you learning today you better obey get the fuck out my way you better obey get the fuck out my way